with you. Welcome to One on One. I'm Steve Adubato. It's been a while, but we have him back. He is the most popular county executive in the nation. My good friend, Joe DiVincenzo. Joe is the county executive in Essex County. Uh, we're not here to talk about politics. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> you could do that. It, on, it could be very boring. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll, we'll do that on Capitol Report. We're, okay. we're here to talk about zoos, more specifically. Turtleback Zoo. One zoo. Turtleback Zoo. Turtleback Zoo. Now, that's not, we're not just talking about any zoo, Joe. We're talking about a zoo that a few years back... Not, Give people a sense of what it was and then what it is. Well, first of all, in 1995, when I was president of the Freehold the Board, the previous administration wanted to close down Turtleback Zoo. The reason for it, revenue was down, attendance was down, and there was a question about the animals not being treated properly. Uh, so uh, they made a recommendation, suggestions to me, that they wanted to close Turtleback Zoo. What I did was organize a committee of uh, community people to travel around the state of New Jersey to look at other zoos and to come back with a recommendation. Some of those people you know. Barbara Bell was on the committee, right. uh, Lou LaSalle, John Smith, and Frank McInerney. And he traveled to all the zoos and they came and made a recommendation and said, listen, we should keep it, we can make it go. So what we did was, uh, we did that. But we also had a large community support that came out and supported us. We're going to be showing says, video. And says, let's keep it open. But you know what's interesting? We're looking. Hey, folks, you went to the video right away. Trust me, that's not what the zoo looked like in 1995. That's what the zoo looks like today. Joe, that is, let's just jump into it. That's the sea lion. That's exhibit. the sea lion. That's we were there the day this opened. Was the governor there that yeah, day? Yeah, the governor was there. The governor cut the ribbon. That's a $5 million uh, exhibit. It's, it's our newest exhibit, and it's so popular. The kids love it because there's a touch dike in there. There's stingrays, and there's sea lions. They can see either underwater or above ground, and the kids just love it. You can see it right now, how the, they're in there actually touching them, feeding them. You know, they're up close and personal with them, and they're learning. It's all about uh, education. And, Joe, for, and we'll talk about the education piece in a minute. For a lot of kids, I mean, you grew up on Parker Street in Newark. I grew up a block away on Highland Avenue in Newark. We I, didn't, I didn't have a pet, Steve. Uh, we didn't have, well, we had ours. I didn't know anymore. if, uh, uh, I, want, I don't want to say it on TV. Uh, we won't say it. We grew, <laughs> trust me, when we grew up in Newark, there weren't a lot of pets. In the, <laughs> leave it alone. But here's the thing. We didn't see a lot of these animals. Not, not at all. Right? Not at all. Is that a big part of it for you? You know, the part of it is that this zoo has been there for 50 years. And for the first 40 years, and because of budget crisis, you know, the first thing goes about the quality of life. And what I tell you, it says, listen, it's about quality of life, but it's also about economic development. And when I became... Zoo, whoa, whoa, whoa. How is, zoo, how is a zoo about economic development? Because if you go up there and look at our complex here, the Essex County South Mountain Recreation Complex, we have an arena, two ice arena. We have a, a zip lines up there called the Treetop Adventure. We have a golf course. We have McClune's. Hold we on, we've got McClune's, which McClune's is restaurant. Tim McClune's. You got McClune's, which is a great restaurant, folks. But also, what about the paddle boats for we the paddle orange, boats. Resi orange Reservoir? Paddle boats there that we just opened up last year. It's been very successful, but besides that, we just opened. That what are we looking, what are we looking at right there? May fifth. That was part of the paddleboat area, and we have uh, around the reservoir. We redid the whole thing where we put bridges over the dams, and we there's a two mile track that goes around the entire reservoir. People could work out there, just see the scenery. Imagine to be having something like that on you know, 2,000 acres of open space. It's just beautiful here in Senesic County. And to me, it's about economic development. development. And that's what my mentor taught me over 40 years, of course, was your father. Well, I appreciate you saying that. You know, Joe D and I grew up in the same neighborhood. Um, Joe's considerably older, as you can tell. Not much. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Joe, it's interesting. Joe has had a fascinating career as a former uh, professional football player. Well, uh, if yeah, you, you talk are. to Charlie Weiss from Kansas, I... I never was on any team, so I don't think well, I Joe, could Joe say that. Well, Joe tried out for multiple <laughs> uh, NFL football teams, um, was an All-American athlete. But what's interesting is that he had a career in recreation and then got into public life. And in many ways, your public life, Joe, in all seriousness, while we go back a long way and we're close friends, your public life, so much of it has been about trying to find ways for kids, young people, to recreate. Yeah, well, that's, listen, that's important, especially in an inner city like ours especially you know, in the city of Newark. You know, kids need an outlet, and we were there. And I was very fortunate to work with your father at the North Ward Center. I started the recreation program there at the North Ward Center. And then I went on to the Newark Public Schools system, became a teacher, coordinator of athletics on a bigger scale, and we were able to do some great things in the city of Newark. But let's get back to Turtleback Zoo. I knew you were coming back to it. 
you know, Bo, you got since I've from... taken over in 2003, yeah. my team, not myself. There's no I in team. There's you no said that. I in team. The attendance at that time was only 160,000 people. Today, our attendance hit over 621,000. Well, hold on. Just in, in, a, in a year, way back, it was what? Only a, the most people ever attend Turtleback Zoo in 40 years was 160,000 people. And now? Now we're over 621,000. Who are these people? Where do they come they from? They come from all over, not of Essex County, throughout the state of New Jersey and also other states. Our zoo is the number one zoo in New Jersey. Our zoo is AZA. We got AZA a means? AZA means you're accredited. federal accredited. accreditation? Yeah, there's 200, only at 220 zoos and aquariums that are actually accredited, which makes it good because we're able to deal with other zoos and be able to exchange animals and stuff. But let me get to the revenue part. The most right. money in 40 years the zoo only made $600,000 a year. We're up to $5.3 million a year. Our zoo in New Jersey is the only self-sufficient zoo. What does that mean, self-sufficient? That, our, what it cost us to run Turtleback Zoo is approximately $2.7 million. So we make over $2 million, a little over $2 million of additional revenue at the zoo. So someone <coughs> wants to be critical and they say, wait a minute. What is the county executive doing putting all this county money, taxpayer money, into the zoo, you say? Well, it is taxpayers' money, but it's also corporate money. There's also private money that p people have bought into the zoo. Listen, people prior to me take uh, becoming the county, we're trying to run to other counties to That's get right. out of our county seven towns. Today, you know, people, you don't hear that conversation anymore. That's right. They're very proud. We've got great investment. parks. we got great golf courses. we got a great complex up there. we got a, a great environmental center. We're the go-to place now. And, you know, I was walking around the waterway at Orange Reservoir, and uh, someone said, listen, this is a good use of taxpayers' money. I couldn't be more proud. I was against it in the beginning, but, Joe, you proved me wrong. You know, so this was the right thing to do. And know what our property value is here? Because he lived in West Orange are going to go sky high. Because Just was what we've done with that complex. We made it a destination place, the Essex County South, Mac, South Mountain Recreation Complex. No longer do our residents have to go outside of Essex County to enjoy the quality. They stay right here in Essex County. You know what's County. interesting about what you're saying? People will say, well, you use my tax dollars. And I'm thinking, okay, well, <clears throat> you could use someone's tax dollars to waste it, or you could use someone's tax dollars to do something really valuable. Let, let me tell you something. The last three years, our property tax increase has been 1.7% under the 2% cap. Over the last 12 years... Well, everyone be clear, there's a 2% cap in New Jersey. That's it. Go ahead. Over the last 12 years, our tax increase has only been 2.7%. Look what we have done. and We've turned this county upside down and improved every one of our facilities, every one of our roads, every one of our bridges, every one of our infrastructures. 2.7. It's the fourth lowest in the entire state. The only counties that are ahead of us is Cape May, Somerton, and Hudson. Uh, not Hudson, Hunterton. All the other counties our size raise taxes 6 7% a year. We've been 2.7%. I'm very proud of that. Our bond rating, when I took it over, it was junk bond. We had a huge debt. Today we have a $50 million surplus. Our bond rating is double A. By the way, Joe, double A too. And I want again, to be, is it 2.7 or 1.7? 1.7 in the last three years. Go ahead. But over the last 12 years, it's 2.7. Just to clarify. By the way, the county executive said he was not going to talk about politics at all. There he was didn't. No. He talked about government. Talked all about government. That's what it is. All about tax policy. You know, good government is good politics. Did you just make that up now? No, that's been my <laughs> saying. We have a slogan: <laughs> put in Essex County first. But good government is good politics. Oh man, Joe, it's good seeing you. Thank you for giving us an update on the zoo, and it's for everybody. You don't have to live in Essex County to go. No, it's for your kids, especially my goddaughter, Olivia. Olivia. I wasn't going to say know. that, but now I got to disclose. Well, you have to disclose. You disclose I'll, everything else. I'll disclose. Okay, you have Joe, never made Joe's, a financial contribution Joe, by political Joe, election. <laughs> I did not. I made no I, I know made that. No contribution. But we didn't talk about Investors Bank. Investors Bank is the best. They're an underwriter of the show, and they're big supporters of the zoo. And Joe is, in fact, the godfather of my beautiful, our beautiful daughter, Olivia. And um, Haley, your beautiful granddaughter. She's special. She's special. All right, Joe D., that's enough from you. We're going to a break right now, and Joe D. are going to have a discussion. We're going to have a discussion off the air, trust me. <laughs> Be back right after this. <laughs> One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by Investors Bank, the Russell Berry Foundation, the Ollendorf Center, Cone Resnick, 
the Fidelco Group, Bedway Associates, and by United Water. Promotional support provided by the Star Ledger, powering NJ.com, and by NJ Biz, all business, all New Jersey. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.